Hey all, Russ here, RVU TV. Welcome, check it out. We are still on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yay! We're climbing up another mountain. Just beautiful views. Mile after mile after mile. What an epic trip this has been so far. All right, we got another tunnel. I think this one is the Craggy Flats Tunnel. Let me slow down, no one's behind me. Look at the rock on the face of these things. Oh my goodness, that is solid rock we're driving through. <laughs> Too cool for school, huh? There should be a visitor center right up the road here. According to the map, we're going to stop. Weather's catching up with me, so we're going to do a few miles today. See what we can see before the rains come in. Been pretty blessed so far with the weather, though. Can't complain. No winds. Once in a while you hit a little sprinkle. Not bad. But this Blue Ridge Parkway, oh my goodness. If you get a chance, this is a must-do, must-see. North Carolina is one pretty, pretty place. Look at that out there. You can just see forever. <laughs> Alright, I see cars up here. This must be the Craggy some Craggy oh no, I forget. It's a visitor center. <laughs> Craggy Gardens. Seen the sign. Not too many people. Motorcycles, if you got a bike. This would be a trip of a lifetime. Looks like a little visitor center there. Let me get parked. This one's cool. You can see off both sides of the peak here, both sides of the mountain. Look way out there. Look at the shadows of the clouds on the ground. Clouds are rolling in. It's in the 60s. It's a little chilly right now. Here's the other side, Craigie Gardens Visitor Center. There it is there. They just got maps and stuff inside. But look out this direction. Now you can see the weather coming in. Look at the haze and the clouds. Pretty place. Okay, I see a storyboard here. We'll check that. I'm not going to go inside. Let's see what it says. North Mileage, Mount Mitchell. Okay. This one's towards the south. All right. This mile markers. Cool. Nice little stop. You can stop every few miles along this way. Look at that view. Off to the van we go. And I think we got another tunnel. Yay. <laughs> I don't know how many we've get gone through. There's a lot of them. It's kind of a cool one here. Craggy Pinnacle Tunnel. Right through solid rock. Look at them things. 
Jeez. Imagine poking a hole like that through a big rock. <laughs> With a view. Wow, look at the weather now. We're up here pretty good in elevation, over 4,000 feet. Temps in the low 60s. I had to put a jacket on, actually. Everyone stops and gets a view and a picture. What's this one? Little Switzerland Tunnel. Trees going out of the rock. This thing's been here forever. This one got dark. It's a little longer. The lights on the van kick on automatic, but it doesn't light it up real good. And we're through. Yay. <laughs> There's a mountain off to the side. I think that's that. Let me pull in here. Supposed to be a big mountain here. The clouds are hanging over top of it. Grandfather Mountain. Here it is. View Grandfather Mountain. The elevation of the mountain six thousand feet, and we're at forty-one hundred. Look at the clouds hanging on the top of it. All right, we're getting pretty close to that viaduct, that bridge that goes around the front of this mountain. Should be right up the road here. Another exit for uh, State Highway. Here, a place of rare abundance. More about the mountain, huh? Okay, here we are. This is that viaduct. See, there's a good map of the parkway. It's well documented, well mapped. You can go online. There it is, Linco Viaduct. Cool. Enjoy the view, watch the road. Well, we're kind of doing both. <laughs> it's RV or TV, we film it. Yay. All right, well, what do you say? Go across the big bridge. I was hoping the weather holds, and so far, so good. No rain yet. Yay. Four thousand foot. Once again, this is kind of like you just go along in a little airplane, about three to five thousand feet. You can look out the windows. <laughs> That's the best way. Oh, here's a sign. Let me stop. Let's get a picture of this real quick. Linco parking area, half mile. Parking area, now on the online it says it's closed. We'll have to see. There's actually an app you can get for the parkway, and that gives you a pretty current status. There's also a road closure somewhere up this direction. 
But I think that's up in Virginia. Not sure. Wow, look at all the rocks. Just everywhere you look. Scenic. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? This don't look like a visitor center. Nope. No, should be a visitor center up here somewhere. Alright, let's keep on trucking. Yeah, this viaduct, they built a bridge uh, around the face of the mountain. They weren't allowed to cut through the rock. Here's a bridge. I don't think this is it though. Might be part of it. I don't know. <laughs> We're doing this first time here. Okay, according to the phone, a visitor center should be right up here. Yay, here it is. Cool. Let me stop here. Oh, man. It's gated off. It's closed. Ah, oh, shucks. Oh, well. <laughs> we didn't need it anyway. Let's keep on trucking. Well, too bad. Probably had a view from down there. Okay, I think this is it up here. Yep, here we go. Here's the viaduct. They actually built this bridge around the face of the mountain. Here we go. We're hanging off the front of the mountain. Linco Viaduct. Blue Ridge Parkway. There it is. That is way down there. <laughs> if you're scared of heights, this road isn't too bad. You really don't get too close to the edge most of the time. We did it. Yay. We went over the viaduct. It's supposed to be one of the big engineering feats of the whole parkway when they put that in. 50 years they took to build this thing. Here's another bridge. But I think that was the big one back there. Pretty ride. The sky's really graying up now on me. Turn out there, we'll find one. I'll stop. Another bridge. Okay. Pretty good gorge right there we just went over. I think we got more coming up up here. Forty-five miles an hour. That's the speed limit on the parkway. Oh, look at the fence. So you can't park here. <laughs> they got smart. They fenced it off. So you can't park and try to walk out here. Here we go. Now we're going to hang off the mountain again. <laughs> Well, maybe not. <laughs> that must have been the vi way back there. The big section that hung off the mountain. Look how they blocked that off. They're smart. Because I would have parked there and tried to get pictures. <laughs> Oop. Turn out. Let's take it. Let's check this one out. 
cool. And what's this? Nothing. We got a little stairway up there. You can hear water running back here. Mountain spring or something here, huh? Look how the water's cut through the rock. It's got its own little groove. I'd like to have, oh, there's a bridge up there. Huh. I'd like to have that water feature in your yard. Looks like it goes right under the road here. And this one is called, let's see what the sign says. Rough Ridge Overlook, elevation 4293. Pretty place. You just sit here all day and listen to that thing go. You can hear the water running underneath the road through there. Well, I bet in heavy rain that's just a running, just a gushing down through there. Well, let's check out the view. Look at this old stonework. Been here forever and it'll be here a long time. They built this thing right. Kind of overgrown. Can't see a whole lot down through there. Look at the brick that's holding up, that's shoring up the road there. Huh. And you can hear the water down there going. Alright, well, let's keep on trucking. Not a bad little stop at all. Love it. We're definitely dropping down in elevation now, too. The terrains, I'm not going to say flatten out, but we're definitely dropping. Here's another bridge. It's pretty steep over these bridges. That's a long ways down there. I could only imagine what the fall colors are driving through here in the fall. If you ever get a chance, that would be a ride of a lifetime. If you caught it right, right when all the leaves are changing. Well, let's see what else we can find. Julian Price Memorial Park. 4,200 acres. Wow. There's a big lake here. I'll be darn. History upon history upon history. Definitely get the Blue Ridge Parkway app. It gives you a lot of info. That's where I'm getting my info from. Figuring out where to stop. Still no rain yet. Yay. Just clouds. There's the lake. Price Lake. Hatchery supported. Oh man, you could fish this. Swimming, wading, traveling, not nice. Sailboating and motorboating prohibited. So all you can do is fish. <laughs> Maybe a kayak. Take that out or a canoe. 
If I hear water over here, we gotta go check it out. They even got a little walkway here. So this must be the dam for the lake, creates a lake. Hatchery supported, so it's loaded full of fish. Well, let's go to the other side. What a pretty place. I can really hear the water roaring. Go walkway. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Here's your Zen moment. Courtesy of the Blue Ridge Parkway in Price Lake. Listen to this roar. Bring your fishing pole, gold pan, <laughs> and you're in here. Look at the stonework on the sides. This is one old dam here. This has been here a long time. Very long. I bet it floods through here too in the big rains. All green and everything. Still not used to all the greenery. All right, there's your Zen moment. Hope you enjoyed it. Cool, one last look. All right, back to the van. We go. There's really no camp and you can't camp at these locations. There are campgrounds right off the parkway. Once again, if you look online, look on the maps, or get the app, it'll point them out. Most of them are private campgrounds, too. Some of the towns are real close to the parkway, too. Have enough fuel to make it up to Virginia, then I will definitely have to look for fuel. All the stations here in North Carolina, it's just so hard to get fuel because of the fuel shortage. But what a little stop. Price Lake, it's priceless, huh? we're getting down here you get we're dropping down a little at a time still no rain yay got really lucky just overcast there's actually farms there's houses off to the left and right here this is a lot of private road the parkway itself has uh, is National Park property, but there's sections where uh, private property butts right up to it. You can see the homes are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That sign back there said Northwest Trading Post. Let's see if it's open. There it is, flags up, I'd say so. The 
it's a gift shop with uh, t-shirts and snacks. Pretty cool. Look at that view. Even with the clouds, it's pretty. <laughs> We're only a few miles left to get to the Virginia border. But if you think about this parkway, just the vast history of how they built it, putting in that viaduct, the cranes, moving all the rock, the manpower, over 50 years. I mean, what an epic journey this is going through the parkway of North Carolina. Absolutely incredible. This is definitely an experience for a lifetime to check something like this out. The amount of bridges. <laughs> Countless. I, I couldn't even imagine. And this is just a North Carolina section. In the stonework that they did. They built it for a lifetime. Look at them guys. I mean, it's just perfection how they built this stuff. And the tunnels. Oh my goodness, the tunnels. <laughs> right through solid rock. Then the history here, the Appalachian culture. That uh, center, art center was cool. Can you think of living back in the day here? Especially when they're building the road, my goodness. And the millions and millions of people that have traveled through here. All the rangers, everyone that really take care of you. I mean, this, this thing is really well organized, well looked after, well maintained. The road has just been uh, great the whole way. Very few bad sections at all. Well, we should be within a quarter mile of the state line. We did it. We started down in Cherokee. My goodness. And we're almost up here to the Virginia state. There it is. There's a sign right there. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Yay, we're in Virginia. <laughs> we did it. Too cool for school. All right, well, I'm not going to take the parkway through Virginia. I'm going to pull off, and we're going to truck straight north up to West Virginia. Talk soon.